Howdy! Come join us today as we tasting wines from an old historic ranch from California. Welcome to Wine Dine TV. I am Judith. And I'm Karina. And this ranch has been visited by gunslingers, missionaries, and even outlaws since the 18th century. It's located in the most southern region of the Paso Appalachian, and now it's a family owned winery. Actually, three families own it. We will be tasting today the 2010 Sauvignon Blanc and the 2009 Renegade. But we start with the Sauvignon Blanc, so let me open it. And this one is um, aged in stainless steel for four months. On the label, those peaks are from the Santa Lucia mountain range, and they call it ancient peaks and they're from volcanic activity. They're really lucky out there. They have five different types of soil. Ooh. And there are five distinctive, unique soil types on the ranch. Ancient seabed, volcanic, granitic, and sedimentary and shale. All that terrain is what makes these wines so special. The color is beautiful pale blonde. Or sunshine in the glass. <laughs> and I can see little bubbles in here too. I'm from sure the that's mineral, you probably. Yeah, from the volcanic soil. So this Appalachian is in the southernmost region of Paso and it's about 14 miles from the ocean. So it gets still during the day is nice warm, but in the night the ocean layer moves in mm -hmm. and keeps blanketing the vines. So that's what gives the perfect climate for Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, the <laughs> nose. I'm getting fruits, a lot of tropical fruits, pineapple. I get the lime. Immediately mm, citrus melon. and lime. You get melon? Mm -hmm. Cheers. And, and cheers to you too. too. It greets me with more warm fruit flavors. I'm getting melon on the tongue. Hint I'm getting white apricots and stone fruit. Mm -hmm. Somehow it's really playing on my tongue. Hmm. I get the stone fruit too. You I also do? get a little bit of like a gooseberry and nectarines. I get a little bit of the sea salt even from the ocean air. It's really salty. Do you taste the salt? Yeah, I'm getting that also. It's a quiet, nice mm -hmm. wine. It's more of a medium body. I think it's a stainless steel fermentation. For four months. For four months. And it's only 13.5% alcohol. The Margarita Vineyard gives the crisp food character to this wine. And the 2010 vintage has 15% from the San Juan Vineyard, mm -hmm. which is also more aromatic. And they're like older 40-year-old vines there. Winemaker is Mike Senor. He is really trying to emphasize the fruit forward characters and keep the fruit in their natural flavor profile. So he really lets the wine speak for themselves. And I have to tell you, I'm excited about this wine. It's a very food friendly wine. A Margarita Vineyard is SIP certified. That SIP. means sustainability in practice. You can also do this type of SIP. I thought you told me to sip. But as the wine a little bit warming up mm -hmm. and opening up in the glass, I detect grapefruit mm -hmm. and some orangey note. I'm Could getting be. that more too as it warms up in my glass also. Mm -hmm. So what would you pair this wine with? I think this would go great um, with like citrus chicken or shrimp, some seafoods. Even with oysters or other... Halibut is another recommendation. Or I think it'd be great with fish, even sea bass, I think. Yeah, this, this wine mm -hmm. is definitely a friend of fish. Yes, and it's very reasonably priced at $14. That is great price. We will make right a now. citrus mm -hmm. shrimp taco. I really can see the appearing mm -hmm. with the saltiness of the mm -hmm. shrimp, it's a beautiful wine. It's not Seafoods, too heavy. Lighter meats, even cheeses. This mm -hmm. would go great. And if you ever go to the central coast to Paso Robles, visit Ancient Peak Vineyard. They do have many unique varietals. They are producing from Malbec, Petit Bordeaux. Uh, that's they the have only a special cab, Frank. Even they do. Mm -hmm. That's the only white wine mm -hmm. in my knowledge. The Sauvignon yeah. Blanc. The but... rest are reds. So how many points are you giving it? You know, considering this wine is approachable, it has good body, good balance, 
it has very natural feel, fruit forward. I like this elegant style. Uh, I would give 4.2. And I love the fruit flavors in this. I'm usually more of a red wine drinker, but I do enjoy white wines with some fruit. So I'm giving this a 4.25. So I'm thinking for the personality, I'm kind of torn between Miranda Lambert and Carrie Underwood. You know, both would fit that bill because the wine is elegant, bubbly, youthful. It has so many great notes. Mm -hmm. And both girls <laughs> yeah. are very pretty. Mm -hmm. um, I would go with Miranda Lambert. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I agree. I'm thinking it's like fun, it's got a lot of notes to it. Thanks for joining us and remember, with, with a splash of wine, everything tastes better. better. Cheers! <laughs> and join us on wine9tv.com for more videos and reviews. And next we're going to taste the 2009 Renegade.